All right, let's keep it simple. With pets, there's a lot of discussion about wind serpents, core hounds, and cats on which one's the best one for you. And there's situations where each one tend to shine. And we're just gonna go for what is gonna give us optimal results with the least amount of effort. Cats on average are simming the best. There are unique situations where you're gonna get wind serpents to perform better. And core hounds, unfortunately, are always gonna be just below the other two. But when it comes to cats, you don't need any specific items that are gonna be lowering resistances or anything like that that's gonna make it perform well. Out of the box, your first time going into Sunken Temple, the cat is the best choice. You can actually tame one of the only wooden serpents that has lightning breath five when you're in the raid. When it comes to the differences between a 1.2 cat or a 2.0 cat, well, it turns out that ranged hunters, you're gonna get a slight advantage with using a 1.2 cat. And then a melee hunter is gonna have the best performance out of a 2.0 cat. 2.0 is the way to go, and you can grab one over here in Stranglethorn Vale. You can get one that's right there, close to level 50. This will be a great pet to take into the raid, but there's a couple things missing. We do have to get Bite 7, and we have to get Claw 7. First, if you go to the snappers that are on the east side of Hinterlands, you can pick up your Bite, break 7 from these, and then if you head on over to Feralus, you can hit up the Iron Fur Patriarch right here. I'll link both of these in the description if you want to take a look at both of those. Just go ahead and train each of these and learn the new level of Bite and Claw. Now let's talk about something that's ranged specific. If you are playing a ranged spec, you're going to be taking the Focused Fire Rune. Even though the tooltip does mention that basic attacks also are going to apply this stacking buff that increases its attack speed, it doesn't work that way. Only the special attacks are going to be able to stack this buff. And Claw is a cheap and spammable move that has no cooldown that cats can do again and again. So what you want to do is you want to turn off Bite and you just want to have it clawing as much as it can so you can get to the max five stacks, consume the stacks with the ability on the rune, and then you'll be able to get the maximum attack speed buff and keep it going. Now, the reason why you shouldn't be worried about using a 2.0 attack speed cat is that basic attacks as of now in the current implementation is not stacking the buff. So only claw is, and all cats are gonna have the same attack speed on claw because it's one of those that, because as you use the ability, it's gonna incur a global cooldown for the cat. The cat's not able to use it back to back to back at, as fast as its attack speed. It's attack speed and claw speed are two completely separate things. If you really wanna get sweaty, this is what you would do. Find one of these 1.2 attack speed cats or the 1.0 attack speed cat called Broken Tooth. I'll link both of those in the description. They're gonna be around level 37-ish and you're gonna power level those up. The fastest way to power level those up, I would say it would be to jump on a melee spec and go fight green elites. So you're looking for dungeons that are just below your level so you're gonna have plenty of green elites to fight. You get more experience when you kill an elite. And when the game checks if the pet's gonna get experience or not, it's kind of wonky, but it checks your level. So you need to make sure it's green to you and not green to the pet. Power that up to level 50. It's gonna take a while. I myself am not interested in doing that. I'll take a little bit of the DPS loss. In fact, I might even just use a core hound because he's pretty cool. But to each their own, play the way you want to play. That's how you do it. That's how you get your cat and get yourself ready to head into Sunken Temple. But here we're keeping it simple. 20% effort for 80% of the result. All right, everyone, if the video did help you out today, please rogue strike the like button. If I'd stay tuned for wow content in the future, please bash the subscribe. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.